as a Laker. That's ahead in sports. And still ahead on this summer of superhero movies, we are going to take you back to the original ones. We'll show you where the original costumes are to some classic superhero movies after this short break. Stick with us. Uh, loved that. Okay, Chris, you. Well, $75 million is not bad for three days' no, work. No, that's how much money The Amazing Spider-Man has pulled in since wide release this week. Superheroes make big money in this mm. town, but as KTLA's Dave Malkoff reports, wasn't always that way. My name is uh, Joe Madalena. I own Profiles in History. We're an auction company based in Calabasas, California. Take a walk through this classic superhero archive. Jarrell wears this costume. I will remain silent. And you'll see a major shift in Hollywood. It's reflective duct tape. This it's, is made of tape. Yeah, reflective duct tape. It's the illusion of Hollywood. I mean, and I tell you that we must evacuate this planet immediately. Basically, a bunch of geeks read comic books. I read comic books when I was a kid, and we were not the coolest people in the world. We really saw the shift with the Tim Burton Batman movies. So the Dark Knight's going to do pretty well. I would think a <laughs> billion dollars. There you go. I mean, it's going to do a gigantic number. <laughs> and it comes back to Michael Keaton right here. Yeah, you know, Michael Keaton, when they first made the first Batman film, did a very good job. Wouldn't get a guy with glasses on, huh? would you? Huh? Box Office Mojo says the film made $400 million worldwide. Pretty good for 1989. Today, superhero movies can make a billion dollars plus, tapping into the hardcore audience that will see it multiple times and pay extra for 3D. Yeah, and it's what's great about these characters is that they're flawed. People can relate to them, so they're much more accessible than the superheroes of the past. That Who are, are from, just good or bad. Exactly, yeah. from another, you know, another planet. And I think that's the thing is they're not making them goofy. They're making them real. It wasn't so long ago superhero movies weren't necessarily hits. Daredevil was probably too early. You know, it wasn't, Elektra was probably too early in the curve. Think about it, those movies did not do well. They have not made a good Hulk movie yet. They've yet to do that. And you're seeing what the fans were in the new Avengers movie, they love the Hulk because they finally are doing the Hulk that's in the comic book. Hulk, smash. But you can't deny how cool the costumes are. That hasn't changed for any of these super friends. At least for now, here in this movie town, superheroes are kings and the king of them all. This is a $100,000 costume. This is an important suit, you know, worn by Christopher Reeve in the first and second film. Man of Steel comes out summer 2013, and for that movie, they've completely retooled what was Christopher Reeve's original outfit. But you can get your piece of those classic superhero movies at the auction. We will link you to all that information at ktla.com slash Dave. But for now, from Calabasas, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. <laughs> and we say goodbye to our friend Dave Malkoff, who's off to bigger and better things. Oh, yeah. I know. We're going to miss him. Yeah. Yes, Congratulations. To National you. correspondent for the Weather Channel, so yeah. you'll see him if you check him out. Absolutely. Good stuff. Big time, for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Also big time.